Hey guys, welcome back. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sign in to the uh, Twitter thing right here. Even though you're not going to be logging into your Twitter account technically, you're going to be using um, Blue Sky, which I use just a little bit. And honestly, it's actually really good. I really like using it. This is more of a updated uh, tutorial from the one like made eight months ago. Uh, it's really outdated, and the same day I made the video, uh, this method came out. Well, it's not really a method, I would- I don't know. Anyway, um, so first, make sure you already have a, uh, Blue Sky app password, which you can go get right here in, pri in uh, settings, privacy, and security. I you might or may not need a computer, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna be using a computer. All right, app passwords and create a app password. Oh, uh, that can only contain. There we go. Allow access to direct messages. Sure. All right, now we got a suspicious looking app password. Now we cannot use this yet. So let's go back on our iDevice. Yeah, I think that's the term. All right, now we're going to have to add a, a source in the city app. Let's wait for this sucker to load. I should not be disrespecting Cydia. Okay, um, so for sources, you're going to want to add this repository right here. Cydia.bag-xml.com Alright, now uh, we're going to have this guy right here. We're going to uh, press on it. Go to... Would it be social? No. Uh, tweaks. Look for the one called Blue Tweety right here. We're going to press on that, and then, uh, yeah, you can read the web page if you want. It's pretty cool. Press install, and uh, what the... Okay, thank you. We're going to press install. Yes, confirm. Now it's going to be installing the blue Tweety tweak. That was a tongue twister to say. All right, you're going to have to respring your device here, so I'll be back when I do that. All right, now we're back and we're going to go to the settings app. Scroll back down to where Blue Tweety is. I already have a URL here, but there's several ones you can use and I'll show them on screen. So I'm going to be using this one for now. Now, um, sideload a version of Twitter, but for me, I'm going to be using Vetris, which is available in, uh, I think it's this repository. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was that one. Alright, now we're going to open uh, Vetris. And we're going to just go get the Twitter app. Uh, what version should I use? I'm going to use 4.3.2. I like this version. Alright, now we're going to wait for it to download, then install. And then it's going to appear underneath uninstalled. Any second now. Alright, that was actually really good timing. Alright, let's go find it. Alright, here it is. Now, uh, we can sign in right here. Uh, on your computer, the uh, app password you already uh, got. You want to type that out for the password. So let's try to do that right now. Alright, now I typed in my information and I'm going to press sign in. And uh, look, I am now signed in. Let's uh, check the Twitter app to see if I'm signed into my Blue Sky account. Um, what you're about to see is what happens when you use the wrong supported version of Twitter. Uh, this is entirely my fault. Um, use a different version that I installed from uh, Vetris, like use 5.0 or something. Uh, I tried that and it seemed to work. All right, back to the video. Yes, why, why are you sideways? Um... Stop showing things. What was that? No, you're not going to use it. Skip. What? Okay. Let's see. Tap to reach. Uh, anyway, thank you for uh, watching the video, and I hope this was helpful. Take care, and peace out.